y'all good afternoon um this is gonna be a special edition video so it's gonna be like a little different um if you don't know where i'm at i'm in my parents room they just have better lighting than i do in my room um because their thing has what four bulbs yeah mine only has three i don't know it's weird it's just their light fixture thing on their fan but anyhow so as you guys know this has been my backpack since i started college I just covered the dust <laughs> but yeah so I honestly don't even know half of what's still in here <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to make a video and explore it with you guys watching um but before I get started with that I'm going to be switching it to this one this is my new one it's a um Samsonite not sponsored just for the record although I'm gonna be in a new suitcase soon so if they want to sponsor me hit me up but anyhow, so this is my new backpack, um, and it's the same tonight, and it's like the TSA pre-traveling type. I wanted to get a huge one like this, so for one, it'll fit all of my stuff and all the Winston stuff going to and from classes, and also because if I end up in like Florida or San Juan, like I'd love to, or something like that, or grad school, this will be an easy carry-on to travel with because it's TSA approved. So, um... There's a couple little things I'll talk about and mention. It's got this strap, it's got, this, I don't know, I saw this one, this is supposed to be like a sunglasses thing, but I don't know if it was supposed to be on this one. This is an added bonus that you don't get on most backpacks. It's the, where you can slide it, like if you have another suitcase, you can slide it on like this to easily transport it if you don't want it on your back. Um, it's got these extra things, which I thought were so cool. So I can always hook like poop bags, or um, his portable water bottle or things on there. And then I love how these look stretchy because I love big water bottles. <laughs> you guys know I have that 32 ounce one. And so yeah, um, it was between this one and another one and I picked this one because it was slightly bigger. I also liked the red accents versus the orange. And I could have gotten an all black one in that one, but I didn't like that, it was too boring. So <laughs> this one has the red on it, which I, Right. So anyhow, let's get started, and as I do this, I'm going to transfer everything, so here we go. Okay, so first of all, there is hand sanitizer. Right now it's Winter Candy Apple, which is one of my favorite scents. Like, all of my favorite scents from, um, um, what's it called? Is it on here? Bath and Body Works. It's called. All of my favorite scents from there are, like... Christmas time scent. Okay. I can't fit this one the other way I did on that one, so I'll just have to go through three. Okay, it'll work. But like, literally, all of my favorite scents I realized the other day are their Christmas ones. And then the, the thing that holds it is like, especially the Christmas one. I love everything that sparkles. I am very much a cheerleader in that aspect. Um, I love sparkly things and I love stuff like that. And and the red, it's my favorite color, the bright red does, it is, so, yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and go through this pocket, I think. Mmm, I have some gum. That expired in May. Put that to the side and throw it out. I don't know what else is in here. Get some lead. It's better open this so I can transfer it easily. This pocket's bigger than this one, which might make it easier, honestly, I don't know. Um, an ink pen, uh, a quick eraser, I prefer these just because I feel like they last longer than any other kinds. So. Um, oh, here's my favorite pencil. It's, I gotta be careful with it. Ew. That is sticky. There must be something in there. Give me a second. I'm gonna go get some Clorox wipes. Okay, got my wipes. So I can't be wiping stuff off as it goes. I don't know if you can see it on there. It looks like it's been like glazed with something. It's gross. It's just the top part. The bottom's not like that. But as you can see, I'll go and show you. It's, kind of it's broken. <laughs> it's been broken for a while. But the story I was going to tell you about this pencil is it has been my pencil since freshman year of high school. So I am not going to stop using it now. At least not for my last semester. I might be willing to get a new one before grad school, but for now, it's basically my lucky pencil because I did so well in high school. So. I'm gonna keep using that, okay. It looks kinda yellowy on the wipe. I'm afraid of what I'm going to find when I get done in here. 
I mean, I know I leave like candy and stuff in there, but like, it hasn't been anywhere that I would have thought it could have melted. So this should be interesting to see what we found. See, this is why I wanted to film it, because I had no idea what I was going to find in this back. An ink pen that says, I love Spanish, but it's in Spanish. I don't know. You guys gotta have backup ink pens. I'm gonna get that one for free. I have a Spanish teacher likes to give me stuff. <laughs> it went on one of the zippers at one point and it broke off, so I don't know why I still have that. I think I was probably like, oh, I'm gonna fix this. And then I never did. Extra pencils. Let's see, they actually have lead in them. This one does. It's got a yellow thing. Oh, the red one does too. Extra pencils. Never a bad thing to have. I have my job drive. Is it sticky? No, it's not sticky. Nothing else has been sticky since my pencil. What the heck? Maybe someone borrowed it? I always have my brother borrowed it at one point. Maybe he got something on it when he laid it down and then took back my backpack and not realizing it. I don't know. But anyhow, there's a jump drive, which this is actually my one I use a lot, but I have a backup one in my case. That is so weird. There's nothing else in this pocket. Okay, that is really weird that that was sticky. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Wrapper. Looks like one on a gum. And look at this. This is what I had a lot of hey guys. <laughs> holes ripping and stuff. And you can see the bottom starting to come apart. So like I really didn't need a new backpack. I wear them down. What's on this side? A Pop Tart thing. It's all smooshed up and I'm not even sure how old these are. This may be pre-final. Throw that out too. Is there anything else in here? No. Wait. Gum wrapper. As you saw, I went the gum on me. Okay. So we can zip that pocket what? up. Which pocket are we gonna go to next? I think the very front one. Let me get this one on here. Okay. I think this one holds my calculator. Yep. Calculator. Let's see if it still works. Oh, hey, it still works. Ooh, whoever used it the last time, which made it me didn't reset it. I'm very crazy about that. When I open it for the first time, I don't like it to have a little arrow saying that there's something on there. I always clear it. Here's my calculator. I have all that's in this one. Yep. Okay, what's in here? Oh, my pencil case. It's got a bunch of highlighters and ink pens of all different colors because... Hmm, sorry. I am OCD and my notes are always lots of colors. So I thought, and it like would attach to something. So I might actually do that now that I have more stuff that looks like it'll attach. But on this one, it didn't work. It would like pull things over and then it would hang down too low. But this one's got extra things. So let's see if we can attach it to something. Because I would have loved to do this in the first place. That's why I specifically bought this one, but it just would hang too low. Aha! This work. Okay. I'll leave it there for now. I may put it inside later if I'm afraid I'm gonna lose some stuff. I got some tabs. Always a necessity. I've got a little eraser. Where did that came from? But these are always a necessity when you're a girl. <laughs> um I forgot where to put these in here. Put them in here. This one I believe has more pockets, or at least like deeper, bigger pockets. I don't know. Let's compare the size of these two. <laughs> Which is what I wanted because, like I said, it has to not only fit my stuff, but it has to fit Winnie's stuff. So, actually, no, now that I look at this, I'm not sure it does have bigger, more pockets. I think there's bigger. So it makes it a little easier to store things. Okay. Now, what's in this one? Cheerios. With the Cheerios label. I suppose I was forget what those were. It's probably because I was using multiple bags at a time. Um, Smash Fritos. Is there a date on these? There's gotta be, alright. I got these, I'm sure, with one of my lunches on campus, but I just want to see if they went bad, if they're still even good. They went bad last December. <laughs> I had those in there for a while. Um, let's see what else I have in here. I have some cough drops. I get sick a lot, so I'll go for sticky at first. So cough drops are must. We'll put those in there. I've got 
think I'm just going to recycle it because it's all folded up, so what's the point of keeping it? I have a notebook. This is my extra notebook in case I forget a binder. There's not a lot in here, but there's some music notes from a music class I took. Some psych notes. Some things I wrote down quickly. Test answers. Like, not like an actual test, but like, probably I wrote it down because I needed to type it in for an assessment that I took this past semester. Because I took like an assessment testing, psychological testing test class. And then there's stuff in here about training Winston. <laughs> oh, some study abroad notes for when I wanted to study abroad. By the way, if you're wondering, that is out of the question now. I decided to drop that and we'll just travel later. It'll be easier. Um, I have a smashed up cookie. I don't think I'm gonna take this out of there. I think, cause I'm just gonna throw this backpack out. I've got, who knows what was in here? Oreos? Looks like an Oreo container. And I've got breakfast bars and a bunch of nasty Kleenexes and oh my gosh, I'll show you. Look at all those crumbs. How gross is that? So yeah, we're gonna just put all this trash back in here that I already took out that I don't think made a mess on the floor. Cause we're just, like I said, gonna throw this whole backpack out, so. Cause like there's no point in keeping it. You'd have to try to stitch it and I think by that point you'd be pulling things together that then over here would snap then so. No point, really. Okay, let's go for the mini pocket in the back. I think there's a folder in here. Oh, hey, a book. I've been reading this book. What is in here? Oh my gosh. I probably found this like last minute and was like, I got a... <laughs> it was mom when she sent me meds. She said, very sweet pea. She always called me sweet pea or little petunia, which is what it says on here. Um, here are your meds. <laughs> and have a great day. I love you. With a bunch of smiley face hard eye stickers. <laughs> Let's see what this card is. I don't know. Is it a Valentine's Day card, maybe? I don't honestly remember. You'll never know what you find me, because I am really good at um, keeping things, like, together and just packing things random places when I'm ready to go somewhere, like coming home, for example, in school. So this says for our daughter, we're so proud of you. Oh, it's a long thing. So I'm not gonna read all that. Um, but it says, Happy Valentine's Day at the end, we love you, Mom and Dad, so it's a Valentine's Day card. And it's all sparkly, that's probably why I kept the envelope. <laughs> because I didn't want sparkle, so I'm in my backpack and in my book, so... I think I'm gonna take those out of my book. I had been wondering what I had done with this book, so now I know. As you can see, I haven't been able to read much of it, but... I read some. So, we will... Put this in here, let's see. I gotta figure out all these pockets. I don't know. This was supposed to be a backpack or a laptop carrying backpack, but as you can see, this is not very thick and the back is nothing. It I did not think it was good enough for my laptop. Like I still put it in a case before I put it in my backpack. This I feel like it is safe enough, so I'm probably gonna put it in there. Hmm. Maybe I'll put this in a different pocket. That's the problem with getting a new one. You gotta decide where you want everything. Okay, so put that in there. Um, and if you're wondering, that pocket has the extra little pockets down in it. I am gonna use it for camera equipment and stuff when I travel. And then I've got a cute little Dalmatian folder. I don't know if there's anything in it. There's currently nothing in it. I use it to hold papers like um, that I need to sign or take to a certain building and get signed and stuff like that. So this is my important um, papers folder. I don't know why I cannot come up with the word paper. I don't know. Keep that stuff out. That's really okay. Um, <laughs> then I have a planner in here, which I believe right now. It's got my old schedule on it. I always like to get one that's got a clear thing so I can slide my schedule in it. Ooh, it's got papers in it. Let's see what papers I've got. My graduation review. You have to do this when you're like a semester ahead of UC. I don't, I don't know, but I'm a semester out. So there are down the classes that I was gonna take and make sure I have that. 
so much toilet paper. Um, I need to do the rest of my community service hours by November 1st, which I got work from BBS and I talked about that. I just have to get her to send a paper because I have no idea what I did with the official paper. Like, so basically there's official paperwork and then I have to write down what I did and everything and get like a person to sign it, like a person in charge, so like the person at church who was in charge of BBS to sign it. I just have to find that. So, yeah. And then I needed like, it says the rest of my hours and the rest I have to take, so. And what my like, major is. It says some exams required, but I take I guess when I get back. And then a copy of the graduation requirements. Attendance calendar. What is this? Oh, my work schedule. Proving that I had done all of them because nobody seemed to believe me. So I went straight to the lady at the top and said, can you print out that and I can take it over to them? Because <laughs> they had me working extra hours and I didn't need to. Not going to throw people under the bus though. No names, so. And then a schedule so I could pick, my um, advisor gave this to me. So we could go through it together. She had a version. And I had a version and she said, okay, what are you taking? And then I had to go over my minors with her. And then this was all of the classes I'm in there offered so I could pick which ones I wanted to take. And then there's my minor, which is Spanish. We went over that together, her and I did. Um, and I always have a planner. You can see here, the last day I wrote on was uh, in April. Because here's my thing that says today on it. Um, oh, and here was the schedule. I always liked to keep a schedule of when the special events were going on at work so that I could um, be prepared for extra people being in there. But you can see Wednesday was like the official last day. And then from there, you can see I wrote like no classes. I didn't have to go to classes that day because they were review days and I felt good enough about the classes that they were doing. And then I came home. Um, here I'll show you one of the months. So I would write down like everything. Absolutely everything in here. Every little bit of homework I had. At the bottom I would write down like if I had meetings or anything in the week. There's a week. The spring break was that month. Uh, so then I wrote down everything and then my more work schedule and the homework was over here and then this is what we did during class that was due like the next day. So like if I had a discussion with post I'd write it over here or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you guys need some way of organizing you, they have these school ones. Oh, okay, there's nothing on that way. Oh, that's because that was over Christmas break. <laughs> um, and it goes the whole way back into last semester. I mean, you can see when I started school in August, you can tell, because writing starts happening, so. Um, I'm gonna leave that in the backpack for now until I get a new one, because it ran out in July. But I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna keep that for now just so I know I have enough space for one. And then I have a Spanish book that probably got left out for studying purposes. This is my last final. And I own it, I bought it, because it was gonna be used for like three years now. Most of my semesters in Spanish. Um, so I kept that out separately. Sorry if you can hear Winston. <laughs> my mom's watching him for a second so I can fill this video quickly. Sorry, I have a noisy dog. That's one thing I'm hoping the trainers can help me on, is bringing down the uh, Parking. But anyhow, so I have a Spanish book here, and it looks like that's it. So there really wasn't as much in here as I thought, but... And then I have a bunch of papers from the end of Spanish for studying. So... Alright guys, well, I guess that's it for now. Um... Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time.